the World Rally Championship pits man and machine against some of the toughest environments on Earth. For 11 months across four continents on 14 rallies, the 2001 championship was fought second by second. The outcome was the closest championship ever. But it all began back in January with the traditional season opener, the Monte Carlo Rally, this year celebrating its 90th anniversary. The weather's always unpredictable for the Monte. The rally's based entirely on tarmac, but heavy snow in the days before the event had made conditions treacherous. The Monte starts and finishes in the glamorous Mediterranean Principality, but all the action is up in the foothills of the Alps. As reigning world champion, Marcus Grunholm was first off. But his title defence got off to a dreadful start. The Finn was out of the rally before lunchtime with an overheating engine. Yeah, it was on the stage too, uh, maybe after 15 kilometres I started to feel uh, some, some noise and, and it was not so powerful the engine and then we have to stop for seven minutes to check but I couldn't find anything so I decided to go to the end of the stage but we cannot fix it here now, it's impossible. In fact, all of the Peugeots went out on day one. Oriel hit a rock and lost a wheel. <laughs> and Gilles Panizzi, driving the third Peugeot, lost control in the icy conditions. The man who benefited most from all these retirements was Colin McRae, who hates the rally, but was in command. McRae's closest challenger was four-time world champion Tommy Mackinnon in the Mitsubishi. Subaru didn't fare much better than Peugeot. Marco Martin had already gone out and then flipping his half a million dollar car onto its roof was Petter Solberg. Last year's championship runner-up Richard Burns was now the sole remaining Subaru driver. By the end of day one, McRae had built up a lead of over 30 seconds from Mackinnon. Back to Monte Carlo, Richard Burns' Subaru developed a problem, oil pressure knocking him out of the rally. Day two and McRae knew that Mackinnon would do all he could to catch the Scot. McRae has never won the Monte. famous Sisteron stage, and it was here that Mackinnon started to make his charge. He sliced 20 seconds off McRae's lead in one go. All three Fords were in the thick of the battle. This is Carlos Sainz.
and back with the blue oval was Francois Delacour, a former Monty winner. Cray briefly lost first place on day two, but bounced back again to regain the lead from Mackinnon by three and a half seconds. But Mackinnon wasn't yet ready to concede victory. It was all set for a battle royal on the final day. Torini is one of the most exacting and exciting stages in the World Championship. At the top of the pass is six kilometers of snow and ice, but they're running on tarmac tires. At the top of the pass is where McRae came unstuck, the fly-by wire throttle in his Ford failing right on the apex of a blind bend. Mackinnon nearly runs straight into the stricken Ford, but there's not even a flicker of emotion on his face as he passes his rival and almost guarantees a third successive win on the Monty. McRae managed to get going again, only for the car to break down. This time, it was all over. Furious, McCray vents his anger. For the second year in a row, the Ford has let him down whilst leading. Sorry for for calling. It it could be nice nice good fight with uh, with us, and uh, of course it would be much better feeling to 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 win after big fight. With McCray out, Mackinnon was now in a class of his own. His closest rival was Carlos Sainz, but he was over a minute adrift. But the main battle was for third between Skoda's arm in Schwartz and Ford's Francois Delacour. Unchallenged at the end, Tommy Mackinnon cruised home to make it a hat-trick of wins on the Monte Carlo Rally. Have to be very happy. It was an uh, enjoyable weekend, weekend for us and uh, everything worked well. We had no problems at all with car. car was working all the time. No problems, tires, everything, tire choices, everything went very well. So Mackinnon a winner by a minute, Ford second and third, and Schwartz fourth. 